do you need a dose of encouragement? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Heidi Rue, and this is the Encourage Minute Podcast. Every single week, I'm gonna share with you a 60-second story of inspiration to get your week started off on the right foot. But before we get started on today's story, which is awesome, it's all about female empowerment, I wanted to share with you two really cool small businesses. During COVID-19, I wanted to offer some free advertising to small businesses. My husband and I own Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. We're fellow small business owners. And so I wanted to do something to help out. So the first person you're going to love, because if you're like me, during the whole quarantine thing, I have been really focused on, you know what, now's my chance to actually get sleep, to make sure I am caught up on my fitness and health. And I just want to be, use this time to, um, yeah, to get really healthy. And so if you're that way, then I got the girl to help you do that. Lily Nas, she owns Persist Fitness and it's um, a fitness coaching company. Now, Lily actually was in the medical field, but she loved um, health and fitness. And so she studied to become a coach. And the really cool thing about Lily is that she's all about the mindset too. So she doesn't just help clients transform their bodies. She helps them transform their minds. And I believe that really is where it starts. I struggled with an eating disorder for 20 years. And I can tell you right now that it was so much in the mind. And so really that had to heal first before I could even think about really being healthy for my body. Um, So Lily offers a free consultation too, if you want to just kind of get to know her a little bit more and see what she does. And she offers virtual training. So it doesn't matter where you're at. If you want to um, contact Lily, you can do that on their face, her Facebook page, Persist Fitness LLC. Um, And then also it's low. I linked to it in the show notes as well. And I put down her email address too, if you just want to shoot her an email. Okay. The second company is Novus Opera. Nope, it's not an opera. (laughs) It's a company that is really cool because it really, they do a ton of things. It's Clayton Romero and Brandon Duke, and they offer copywriting, podcast production, um, educational videos, mixing and mastering services, sound design services. And they really started this because they wanted to form a company that would empower you and other creatives to produce their art in a collaborative environment. So they they actually have their own podcast called Garfield's Crossing, which is a narrative podcast, really good. And then in Medias Res, which kind of talks more about the whole creative process, not just with them, but with other creatives. It's really good. So check it out, novusopera.com. And of course, it's linked in the show notes. Okay, shall we talk about our story for today? <laughs> okay, here's today's Encourage Minute. This story is about a woman named Gert, and she is pretty awesome. But her story started off really tragically because Gert's husband and father of their three children died really unexpectedly at 47 years old. Not only that, but he left her with a business that was failing miserably. They had employees that were depending on them, and they were on the brink of bankruptcy, many, many times. Now, Gert, she was one tough mother and she did not want to call it quits. So she and her son, who was now helping her run the business, came up with this advertising uh, campaign that capitalized on the fact that she was one tough mother. One campaign shows Gert rocking this born to nag tattoo on her arm. And it may not sound like, okay, that's kind of cheesy. What in the world is especially for the company that they're running, Columbia Sportswear. Mm -hmm. Um, But man, it totally worked because these ads related to customers and they felt like, okay, if Gert had her stamp of tough approve on something, it would be great quality. And it was. So with Gert's leadership, Columbia Sportswear went from 40 employees to over 2,000 and over a billion dollars in annual sales. Now, I think there's a lot of encouragement within Gert's story. I think there's several lessons, in fact. One, forget age is part of the equation for success. In fact, Gert had in her office, old age and treachery will overcome youth and skill. Also, use who you are and what you've got, like Gert did with her persona. She's like, look, I'm a mother. 
that's what I bring to the table. And it's dang good. Then I think that the final lesson encouragement is tragedy does not have to destroy your world. You may just have to look for ways to create a different world. And that was your Encourage Minute. I'll have another one for you next week. You can subscribe anywhere you can listen to podcasts or you can follow on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to see the video version. I hope you have a great day. And in honor of Gert, I am going to leave you and say, don't stop, get it, get it. <laughs>